Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Arrowverse as a whole, and also talking some Green Lantern in this video, and also talking about Diggle. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we've got a lot to talk about. We've got some big breaking news about the Green Lantern show that is coming. Also, we've got some kind of big news. Well, I think this is the most important thing, and that's in regards to David Ramsey coming back as Diggle, potentially as the Green Lantern. So we're going to break this all down in today's video. The article we're going over is The Hollywood Reporter's article regarding Green Lantern and its new HBO Max show. We've got some news about who is showing up in the show, the showrunners, and how everything is going down over there. Also, we're going to be talking about Diggle in this video. So first off, I wanted to talk about Diggle. David Ramsey was doing a con the other day. So what he talked about the other day at that con is basically he said there is news coming when he was asked about his character Diggle returning as Green Lantern. We had a teaser in Crisis on Infinite Earths. So we saw a green glow go over Diggle. So that was a definite reference to him potentially coming back as a version of Green Lantern. So I've got some theories to talk about because we know that there is a big crossover coming up, Batwoman and Superman Lois, if it's still going on, apparently it is. I don't know as of right now, they may change the shows over, but there is a high chance that if Diggle does return as David is teasing, it will be in a crossover. I don't particularly see him showing up on any of the Arrowverse shows particularly, Unless there was like, you know, Green Arrow and the Canaries, but doesn't seem very likely that that's going to happen. Some people have been suggesting Superman and Lois, but I don't know how likely that is. I don't see the reason for him to come, apart from him being a Green Lantern, and I guess Superman is a bit more to do with space. But then again, I don't see him showing up properly unless it's a crossover, or he's on an Arrow show, or a Green Lantern show. And I'll get to that point in just a minute. So yeah. He talks about this in this con, there was a recording online, he also said things are just stopping and starting right now, so I believe what he is referencing here is probably there have been some conversations with him, because he is a fan favourite after all, like we're kind of expecting Diggle to come back at some point, you know Arrow has ended and it's been finished for a while, but we're kind of just waiting for him to come back and considering we got that teasing crisis, I think it does potentially set him up for more to come, like he can return in the future, even if it's like a different version of himself, or if it's actually Diggle who now possesses a Green Lantern ring or something like that. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think Diggle will return as Green Lantern? Definitely seems like there have been some talks in regards to that. So let's move over to the next thing, and this is continuing on the Diggle line because, you know, we need to theorise about this. So. The new Green Lantern HBO Max show, which is being run, and this is very important, by Greg Berlanti and Warner Brothers Television Productions, the people, obviously, who run the Arrowverse shows, apart from the CW, but Berlanti runs it all, so it's the Berlantiverse, really, when you look at it. So, Berlanti is running this new Green Lantern show, obviously, he ran Arrow before, and also, Arrow's very own Mark Guggenheim is involved in the show. And he will co-write the inaugural episode, it says, in this Hollywood Reporter article that they've just released a few days ago. So, with that being said, and with talking about what David Ramsey has said, what happens if Diggle shows up as Green Lantern on the Green Lantern show? Because the Green Lantern show, I'm presuming, is going to be part of the Arrowverse, even if they're on another Earth or something like that. Even if it's like a different version of Diggle? I think it's pretty high in chances that he will show up considering Mark Guggenheim and Greg Berlanti are involved and, you know, teased him becoming the Green Lantern and there just so happens to be a Green Lantern series coming along on HBO Max. So let's go through this article and break it down. So Seth Graham Smith, screenwriter behind the Lego Batman movie, will act as a showrunner of the DC Comics based series and will co-write the episode well, the first episode with Mark Guggenheim, the co-creator of DC shows Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. Green Lantern, a one-hour drama, has been given a ten-episode straight-to-series order. This hails from Belanti Productions and Warner Brothers Television. Belanti and Jeff Johns, the comics author turned DC show creator, were involved in the 2011 Green Lantern film, as well as Mark Guggenheim. While the movie didn't shine green on the box office, the show 
is being seen as a way to create the course and reintroduce one of the longest lasting names in superhero comics. The makers are describing the show as a saga spanning decades and galaxies and will feature a host of Green Lanterns, the galactic police officers that patrol the known and unknown universe. The show will focus on Earth-centric Green Lanterns such as Guy Gardner, Jessica Cruz, Simon Baz and Alan Scott and will also have alien lanterns such as fan favourite Kilowog as well as Sinestro, a former lantern now turned villain. Scott is the original Green Lantern first introduced in 1940s All American Comics number 16 while Sky Gardner was created in the 1960s and has a tough talking fist first attitude. Cruz a Latina and Bax a Muslim American are more recent creations. Lanterns how Jordan, perhaps the best known character in the franchise, Jon Stewart and Carl Rayner are not part of the show apparently as of right now. So many details are being kept on the planet Oa. The show is rumoured to be possibly being the most expensive show coming from Belanti, one of the most prolific producers in TV today. The show is in the story stage and could be factoring directors and casting in production by mid next year. So that is the article. So there is a lot of information packed into this one whole big article, but the main factors are, yes, the show is coming. It's a one hour drama. That means it's going to be one hour per episode. I'm guessing kind of more like Titans and more like Doom Patrol and it will have a 10 episode order so basically it's going to be a shorter show, kind of more compact and it's going to be one hour so it's not on a network, it's not on the CW so they can do lots more violence, they can swear, they can do all of that so I'm guessing it's more in the line of Titans and probably Swamp Thing and then so you've got Belanti and Jeff Johns, who are sort of involved, while well, Johns is involved with the creation of the characters. Belanti was involved in the past Green Lantern film with Guggenheim, and so now they're working on this new show, and so they're describing it as a story spanning decades and galaxies, and will feature a host of Green Lanterns. And I think the host of Green Lanterns thing is very, very interesting, because I kind of expected that, because the whole thing about Green Lanterns is, you know, they have this sort of Green Lantern corpse, they have their organisation, and they normally just focus on, like, maybe two or three, but it seems like we got four here, we've got Guy Gardner, Jessica Cruz, Simon Baz, and Alan Scott, you probably don't know Simon Baz, he's a bit less known, Jessica Cruz is pretty known, she's one of the newest Lanterns, Guy Gardner is very well known, he is quite good, he's quite funny in the comics, and Alan Scott is the original Green Lantern who has been referenced on Stargirl before, so it would be interesting to see if they link into the Justice Society of America, and I don't know if Alan Scott's going to be around this whole time, because I'm presuming they're going to focus on Guy, Jessica, and Simon, who are, you know, newer characters, even though Guy was created in the 60s. Alan tends to be an older Lantern, so he is sort of middle age normally when you see Alan Scott in the comics or in the films. So he's a bit older than the rest, the rest are a bit younger. So normally he is a bit sidelined as of recent. However, we'll have to wait and see maybe he is one of the main characters because in fact he is mentioned here. So it's kind of interesting that they didn't include Hal Jordan, I guess because he's, you know, the most popular. Then Jon Stewart's probably the second most popular, and Kyle Rayner is very popular as well. And that's not to say they're not going to show up and they don't exist in this universe. I think they all actually exist in this universe. Maybe throughout however many seasons or however many episodes they have, we'll get to see them show up at some point and I think if Jon Stewart shows up this is where it links into what I was talking about before with John Diggle and with David Ramsey I think he will show up as you know a Jon Stewart type character but he'll be John Diggle from Arrow now wielding a Green Lantern ring so what do you guys think about that that is very exciting 10 episodes coming to HBO Max the new Green Lantern show and we have the confirmed characters, confirmed people who are working behind the show, very much so similar to the Arrowverse shows like Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. So will it be involved in the Arrowverse? That remains to be seen as of right now, but I would say there is a high chance considering they did cross over in Crisis, Titans, Doom Patrol and everything, even Swamp Thing, so I would say yeah, it's probably involved in the Arrowverse. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I will catch you guys later.
goodbye. I see red.